go. Adultery. Our people that are in the midst of adultery shall be burned up. Our people that are in the midst of worshiping uh, false idols like this white image of Jesus, the image of the beast, shall be burned up. Our people that are in the midst of lying shall be burned up. You understand? Our people that are in the midst of not observing God's laws shall be burned up. Yes, sir. I have a question. Yes. My question is that um, because. I can't hear you. Come on. I ain't going to bite you. Watch your food. Okay, my question is that because um, in nowadays now, all of the world say um, this is the image that was displayed in church. Most see it um, go straight around and say so that this is Jesus, right? And you have the image that, uh, and the image, that image of the beast, right? So, we come here, uh, we are black, right? And the others, you have other different nations like white races and Indian and Chinese and all that. With the Indian races, they most of the race image. Right? And all that. So, who is really God then? Since he's not white, because we're looking to a white God, most of us young people and people all still believe that this man is God, a white God. Right? Yes. So, because you said right now that he's a black man, right? What about the other white people that believe that their God is the white God? Who is really God? I don't know. I don't think anybody really knows it's going to be okay. God. You, I'm going to answer your question. You said you don't think anybody knows, right? Yes. Yeah, Give me right. revelation. I'm going to tell you, you tell me if the Bible is a true book. Okay? She said, I don't think nobody knows what God looks like. Revelation, start at verse 10. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. That's the, the Lord's day is the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write it in a book. So Christ tells John, what you see, I want you to write it in a book. The book is the Bible. Let's see what John writes down. Let's get what Christ looks like. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the first thing he looks at Christ, Christ got white woolly hair. Let me see. Woolly hair? Woolly hair? Woolly hair? We all got woolly hair. Like an afro, you understand? You know? As white as snow. His head was fully white. And, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Now we talk about his feet. You can see her feet, right? You can see the sister's feet. Remember they wore sandals back in the day. So John looks at Christ's feet. Look what he said. His, and, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. What color is brass? Huh? It's a light brown. If I take light brown brass and burn it in a furnace, what color is it that? What? Black. Black. So now the Bible's describing Christ is black. Is right. What? Black. 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 Woolly hair and skin like it burned in a furnace. With red eyes. Okay, you want you confused about the red eyes, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you the red eye, Paul. Get Genesis 49 and verse 12. It's 10 or 12. 12, thank you. So she said she's confused about the, the red eyes. That's what you said, right? Here's the prophecy about Christ. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Christ drunk wine in moderation. It said his eyes shall be red with wine. That's Genesis 4. Everything we got is right here, sis. It's right there. So now I'm going to get some more description. I'm going to show you. Why is color important for our people? You do color? Why is color important? She wanted to know about the description of Christ. I told her. She never learned that. Why is it important? Why do you think? Does it matter? Is it important or it don't matter? He says it's important. What do you say? You said it has to be. If it has to be. You, who's, ma, 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 ma. Is the color Christ important? Yes or no? What do you think? Is it, is it important? Yes or no? You don't think it's important? Okay, she said no. Give me that. Five and six. Watch this. Now we just read that he's a black man, right? So if it's in the Bible, don't you think it's important? Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you that. Now she quoted the scripture. I'm going to give it to you. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, and verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen whose 
loins were girded with fine gold or too fast. Fine gold he had a golden girdle on. Right. His body also like the barrel. When you look up barrel, it means green. So he had a green linen gown. Read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. He said when he looked at the Son of God, his face looked like lightning power. He could see he had power. Watch this. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Because he drank what, sister? Why? Watch this. And his arms. Look at your arms. And his arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color. Like in what? In color to polished brass. Polished brass means brass burned in the furnace. So why is it? You, some of our people think it's not important. The white, let me tell you something about image. Let me tell you something. Sister, I want you to listen good. Don't look around. If I taught you all your life, you watch TV? Every, like in America, I'm going to talk about America for a second. Every image you see that's good and holy is white. When we grow up, how do you think we look at each other? How do you think? Do you, do you think I would look at you as holy or right? No, I would never. Why? Because when I look at TV, I look at Jesus, they show me the, the demon at. I see this is the Son of God. So when I see the white man, I say, he's the Son of God. That's why the slaves never rebelled against the white man for a long time. But as the slaves start to wake up and go, wait a minute, you're not the son of God, you're the devil, the Bible speaks of. And when we start seeing each other as the people of God, I would say I would never disrespect my sisters because she's in our image. I would never disrespect my brother because he's in the image of God. Image has a value that you have not yet understood. It plays with your mind, okay? I'm gonna give you another example. You ever hear these rap songs and rap is called women, bees, and hoes? You ever hear that? You ever notice Chinese never do that? White people never do that? East Indians never do that? Because they didn't go through the slavery we went through, and the disrespect, we grew up in a slavery, we had no image, Hosea 3 and 4. Hosea 3 and 4, I'm gonna show you that. We had no image in the earth. So we're easy to disrespect one another and hate one another. Okay, hold your question one sec. The book of Hosea. I want you men to start asking questions too. That's right. We need you men to ask questions and stand up. Come on. The book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days. You are the children of Israel. You are not Jamaicans. You are the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Come on. Shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image. We would abide many days without what? Without an image. We would abide many days in slavery without what? Without an image. We would, I want you sisters to listen good. The Bible prophesied we would abide many days without an image. What does that mean? We had no image of greatness. No image of God or Christ or Moses as black. We lived our lives from 1600s till today thinking Jesus is a white man. God is white. The angels are white. That's what we grew up in. So that's why we hate each other when we see each other. You're a black man. We don't respect you. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.